All right, this is box number two of four. Um, don't know. These Lux Air cars. My father gave me a bunch of these because he was a dealer of Luxair and he got all kinds of Luxair uh, memorabilia such as these. I don't know if he paid for them or not. I'm sure he, he probably had to in some form or another. There's three of them guys. Some NASCAR stuff. Which I think a lot of these I acquired mostly for the wheels and tires because I don't really have any kind of connection to them. I don't really remember them. These came from, I think, Texaco was running a something you fill up gas or something. You got the cars. I don't know where this came from. Two of those Haviland cars. Ooh, what do we got here? This is early, early 90s. 1991. It's got a little dent in the bottom of the pack, but otherwise it's not too big. Little tractor, pretty nice. Salt Flat Racer. Tail Dragger from 98. That's pretty, very pretty colors on that. Very, very nice. Very heavy too. Sweet 16 too from 98 and a lot of these I don't remember buying I that's bad to say that but I honestly don't remember a rigor motor which of course I think to this day they still make that one yeah a lot of these are from 97 so you're talking 20 years pop cycle from 1999 that one of course is popular with people grabbing the Schwinn bicycle out of the back Oscar Mayer Wiener mobile which would be kind of funny to detail when he's up and do something cool with it. Tectone Series Buick Wildcat, which is pretty hideous. I don't remember buying that when KB Toys went out of business locally here. Maybe I got it real cheap or something. I don't, I just don't remember buying some of these. 96 First Edition, um, the Radio Flyer. I always thought that was kind of neat to in red, of course, looks cool. 97 first edition BMW. That's the M Roadster. This, these go for a good bit now on eBay, I believe. And that's in great condition too. The Ferrari 308. Uh, dated 95, the pack on it. And at least they have, you know, some details painted in. It's, it's nicely done. I think anyway for straight out of the pack. I don't like the big logo on the windshield. That looks stupid, but can't have everything. It's two bugs. Digger, which is heavy. I can feel it's pretty heavy. And then there's what's this one here? The stock Chevy Stalker. I don't know how old some of these are, but. 32 Ford and Toe Jam. That's a funny name for for that one. 32 Ford's cool. I have so many variations at 32 Ford. That one is always a good one. Heat Fleet series of the fuel tanker. Pretty cool colors. Not my favorite wheels on it, of course. I mentioned that in another video. Here's some good ones here. I can see already. Callaway C7, that one was cool. Always like that. 40 Ford and Speed Blaster. Interesting seeing a lot of these. I don't, just don't remember them. Uh, the 99 360 Ferrari. I don't think I have any of these detailed in my collection. That might be a good one to detail. It's got some weight to it. It's a plastic bottom, but feels kind of heavy. This one here I have two or three of, and I this is in the queue basically of one to get detailed. This is a 30th anniversary color scheme Diablo. And this package is a data 91. 
which technically then it wouldn't have been a 30th anniversary, but that's in the, the color combination and what we recognize now as that purple. Very, very cool. Mint, pretty near mint condition pack. I have another one that I just found recently. This got some weight to this dairy delivery. God, that thing's heavy. Dodge Sidewinder from 98. This is a nice color combination. Not too crazy about the wheels on, but the 99 Mustang. I'm sure there's a following for them. Pronto again. We had one of them in the same color in the other box. Which, uh, you know, there's another 32 Ford and treaded to her. I don't know why I would have bought that. Maybe from one of my nieces or nephews at the time and forgot to give it to them. I don't usually buy fantasy cars. Sweet 16 2 again. Same colors. Power pistons. That's kind of neat. I'm sure it's fictional. Uh, prototype racer, but it's pretty cool. This I've, I've, I have a lot of these from when I was a kid. The rescue series ones and and biohazard they've been making this forever that using that mold why is there so many of these sweet 16 twos what in the world would i have been thinking to buy there's three of them 63 got some dust lint there 63 ford t-bird it's pretty the colors 98 double vision that one was always that was kind of cool Another radio flyer, and here's a Solar Eagle 3, which when this came out, I thought was really neat. Remind me of like the MIT students' projects or whatever. I thought that was pretty cool. Supercom Dragster, and don't know what this other one's. The Soul Air CX4, whatever that is. And why I would have bought the spy print series but there it is whatever another wagon indie car no biggie a lakester and chrysler thunderbolt which of course they never made i mean i think they obviously made it as a concept car but never Went further than that. Chevy 1500. That's wild. I don't really remember that one, but looks kind of cool. Another tail dragger. I believe that's the same color we saw earlier. Supercom dragster and Dodge Concept. These are doubled and tripled over. Some of these I have for whatever reason. I must forget. I still do that to this day. I'll buy stuff and I'll absolutely forget what I have and what I don't have. 40 Ford. This is in an early pack, probably 91. Yep, 91. That's pretty cool. And colors are pretty gaudy, but Toyota MR2 Rally. So all I did was slap some plastic lights on the front. Dodge Sidewinder and the Panos GTR1. Which they were still running that car. When I was at Sebring Race in 2001, they were... They were still running that car even then. <laughs> Another. These are all getting doubled over except this one. It's got some weight to it. So let me try to blow through here. I don't know what these were. Kyle Petty, exclusively from Toys R Us. They must have been giving them out because there's no way I would have bought them. I can tell you that. Uh, this is cool here. Ferrari 355. Not sure why it has amber glass, but it has amber glass with the tan interior. What is that? 97. This is the one another uh, viewer referred to when I did the other video. I um, apologize, I don't have my screen up, so I forget um, who it was that mentioned this, but said about the Pikes Peak Celica as well. And there it is. I knew I had one somewhere. 
pretty cool. That would be neat to detail. Another Callaway. These are all getting doubled over from the other box. So I'm not going to bore anyone with that. This one I always liked the, the bad motor. I can't remember if that was in the other box or not. Ford racing truck. More doubles and triples. Another SLK from the same as the other box. Another toe jam. This, I don't know. I must have bought. I had to buy these from my nephew and just forgot to give them to him because these are so goofy. This rail rider. These are so weird. There's a Studebaker, which I always thought that was cool. The attitude. And then this uh, low rider truck thing. We'll just take a look here. There's another Studebaker there. That Viper is pretty nice in the blue. It has white stripes. Don't know what that red car is. Let's take a look at that. I'm not sure what that catapult. It's supposed to be like a shortened, I think, Jaguar or something. It kind of looks like a custom. Another bug there, Corvette. I won't pull all these out. There's another one of those squads. There's the uh, another Tacoma truck. Baby Boomer. So there's that box. Well, that's kind of neat. This Nomad here. That's pretty cool. So anyway, there's that box, and I'll move on and do box number three or four. So thanks for watching, and hopefully I didn't disappoint anyone there, but uh, like I said, did. I have not personally gone through these either in close to 20 years, I would say. So thanks for putting up with me going through these, and we'll see you guys soon. All right, bye now.